think that's one of the more sobering sort of findings of all this whole process is that once hoof disease is in a herd or on a landscape, it's basically really, really hard or nearly impossible to eliminate. So the worst in, that's ever been seen in this country? I, in terms of hoof disease, I think so. Here back in, uh, say, 2000, I was uh, able to go up in the upper parts of the watershed of the Lokomen, uh, probably about a, I say a 50 mile an hour circle, and probably count over 100 head of elk. Now you can go up there, and uh, you might see five, on you know you can count them on your hand. And it fell off quick, within a seven year span, you know, to lose over half your herd herd size, you know, from 100 to 50 to 25 to 20. It's just it. it deflated that bad I and mean, it really hit hard. From a person that, that lives this every day and sees these elk, it's one of the most saddest things I've ever seen. What these elk do, uh, when they get this, they'll, they'll leave the herd. They'll try to stay with the herd as long as they can, but then it comes to a point to where malnutrition, uh, they can't walk hardly anymore, and uh, then they go off by themselves. And it's usually, once you see that, within a week to two weeks, then you'll see buzzards and it's dead. It doesn't make it. If folks could just come out here more often and see this and and see the condition that these elk are in that's got this stuff, I'm telling you, it, it breaks your heart. I mean, it, like I said, it brings tears to my eyes when I see it. I, it brings tears to my eyes just talking about it. It's like I said, it's one of the saddest things I've ever seen. We had a lot of animals here. I mean, a lot but it's dwindled to where it's probably, I would say, half to what it was. Are you scared enough about this disease that you think potentially, I mean, when the elk are gone, they're gone. They're gone. Do you think this is something that could potentially wipe them out? I think it can. I really do. I've witnessed these animals and do believe that hoof rot is a death sentence. Once they receive hoof rot and they are sick, they will die. They will either die of starvation, they will die of exposure, or they will horrifyingly be eaten upon by predators before they are dead. But the one thing for sure is they will die. And it will be a slow, painful death over 12 to 18 months, and certainly it's not humane. I like to, I mean, everybody, whether you hunt or whatever, to be able to see an animal out there, it's a draw. I mean, I mean, I love to see elk. I mean, I, I see them every day, but I still, it still fascinates me to be able to stop and look at them. And now I look at them to see how many um, are limping. The average citizen that will hear this story needs to recognize that there is something you can do. You can't just sit there and see an animal put to a death sentence that is more unhumane than anything you've ever witnessed in your life. You need to be able to stand up, hold our elected officials accountable, hold our departments of fish and game accountable, hold them to the same standards that we hold to ourselves. You wouldn't let anybody starve a horse or a cow, a dog or a cat in your neighborhood, but yet you allow them to starve our elkers in Southwest Washington with the disease that's being inflicted upon them, not by their choice at all, with no help, no assistance. A death sentence of this nature is absolutely unbelievable that we as human beings would stand by and 